Hello. Today we're going to talk about minerals and uh, some of the properties of minerals. We've been talking about rocks and minerals are the building blocks of rocks. Uh, so let's get on to it. Remember you can pause and rewind the video at any point in time to make sure you get everything in your notes along with anything you have questions about. Make sure you write down those so we can talk about it in class. So what is a mineral? A mineral is a substance which has these five traits. One, it is naturally occurring, which means it comes from nature. It cannot be man-made. It is non-organic, which means it is not made by anything living. It's not something from a human or from an animal or from a plant. It also has a characteristic chemical composition. That means when we look at the periodic table of the elements, we can, we can know exactly what the chemical composition, exactly what elements make up that mineral. Um, it has distinctive physical properties, which we will go into in a moment. There are several physical properties that each mineral has specific um, physical properties. And it has a crystalline structure, meaning it, it, it's not a liquid, it's not a gas, it's a crystalline solid. So in order for a mineral to be a mineral, it has to have all five of these traits. If an object has four out of the five, still not a mineral. It has to have all five. So let's talk about these uh, physical properties that the minerals will have. Uh, there are several, and when you write these down, I'd like you to leave a, a space or two between each one, because I'm going to go through um, many of them. Uh, and want to make sure that you have room to, to write them. So the first is color. Next is luster. Then habit. Then cleavage and fracture. And if you would please write these on two separate lines. Then there's streak. Hardness. And then there are several other kind of other categories that uh, we'll talk about at the end. So let's go through each of these. We'll just say a short thing uh, about each one so you understand what some of the mineral properties can be for these. Um, color first. Color is not mineral specific. So for instance, in these two uh, on the top, we have two different shades of red, but those are two totally different minerals. So all red minerals aren't one thing, all green minerals aren't another. Mi mi color is not a mineral specific thing. Each mineral will have a specific color, but that color doesn't help us identify the mineral very well, usually. Um, luster. Luster is how minerals reflect light. And in most cases we say, does it have a metallic luster, like this gold color here? Or does it have a non-metallic luster? meaning it's more of a crystalline type uh, of, a, of a look. So there's our metallic and there's our non-metallic. We then have mineral habit. And habit is actually a uh, the word we use for minerals for shape. The shape of a mineral is grown unimpeded. Um, so you can see some of these grow in cubes and some in hexagons, and some in other shapes. Uh, this one looks like an explosion almost. Uh, this one looks like it's a bunch of little cards that are put together. So the mineral habit is its shape when it just grows naturally without anything, any other factors playing on it. Um, it will have a specific kind of shape usually. Cleavage and fracture. So cleavage and fracture has to do with how a mineral breaks apart. If the mineral breaks along planes of weakness, so you get very um, orderly breaks that are kind of may have very right angle breaks and look very rectangular or squarish, then we say it has cleavage. And if a min mineral breaks very um, randomly and very jaggedly, we say it has fracture. The streak of a mineral refers to its powdered form. So we have um, different objects that we can basically rub a mineral on. And if uh, 
if it leaves a streak, then that streak will have a specific color. And sometimes that color will match, like here on pyrite. The, the, the streak of the pyrite pretty much matches the color of the pyrite. But here on cinnabar, its color is m totally different than the actual mineral. So we can use streak as an identifying factor. Our next factor is hardness, and this is based on uh, Mohs scale of hardness. It's basically a, a relative hardness scale on whether or not a mineral will be scratched by something or not. So we have several minerals that are, are very soft and they will get scratched by a fingernail or a copper penny or wire or a nail. Uh, we have others that get harder and these things will get scratched by things like a masonry nail or a knife blade or a streak plate, that plate I showed you from last slide that we get the powdered form. And some of those, um, some minerals like diamond is so hard that it won't, it won't be scratched by anything except for another diamond. So we have this Mohs scale of hardness and we can take a mineral that we're not sure what it is and we can scratch it with different things, which will then give us an idea of where on the scale it, it sits and that will give us an idea of what mineral it is. Now we have three other properties I want to talk to you about uh, for minerals and they are density. We've done density several times. Um, as you remember, it's mass over volume and minerals have, because they have a very specific um, chemical composition, they have a very specific de density. And so we can measure that density and that can help us with what mineral we, uh, we have. We also can look at minerals and how they react to different acids. Several minerals will react to acids and several will not. And so again, we will, can use that as a clue about what mineral we might have. And finally, magnetism. Some minerals are magnetic. Um, and so we can put a magnet next to it to see if, if it's magnetic or not, and that will help us with our identification. Now again, minerals are the building blocks for rocks. If you have not written that down yet, please do that. It will be on the quiz, and it, the only way to get it is by listening to this um, video. And if you're just watching it and not listening, then you just missed out on a question. So it is the building blocks of rocks. There will be a question that says, what are minerals? And you need to write building blocks of rocks. Um, so understand that depending on what kind of minerals we have will determine what kind of rock we have. But each individual mineral is a different, has different properties. And uh, I hope you've got an idea of what those properties are now. And if you have any questions, please talk to me about it. Otherwise, I will see you in class.